One of the most common questions that I receive is, what does quail habitat actually look like? Well, this is it. Think brushy prairie. Quail need scattered patches of shrubs because that's where they spend the majority of their time during the day, just loafing, trying not to get killed by a predator. So you need isolated patches of, of dense shrub cover. That might be sumac, might be sand plum, uh, small oaks, depending on what part of the state you're in. And these patches of shrub cover uh, need to be 50 to 100 yards apart so that quail can, no matter where they're out on the landscape, they can quickly move into these shrub patches uh, to evade predators. This is important year round, but it's especially important in the fall, winter and early spring uh, when they're in coveys. And they do need herbaceous cover as well. And I'm talking about scattered patches of grass and forbs. Uh, a lot of these plants provide food resources and around us we have uh, native grass and a lot of forbs like ragweed that provide important seed for, for quail throughout the winter. And this vegetation, this herbaceous vegetation, it needs to be not overly dense. If you can walk through it without your feet getting tangled up, that's a good indication that quail would use that area. They're, not, they're small birds and they're not able to crawl through dense grass. So the grass needs to be kind of patchy. So things like Bermuda grass, that doesn't work. It's a sod forming grass, they can't move through it, and it shades out food producing plants like croton, ragweed, sunflower, all of these things that are so important. So think about scattered grasses and forbs, some bare ground so that quail can move between those plants, and patches of shrub cover that's well distributed across the landscape. If you have all of those components on your property at a big enough scale, a big enough area, then you have everything you need to support quail on that property.